you love to sit in traffic on your way in and out of Boston day after day? Then look no further than Beacon Yard! Um, what's that? Part of Alston's I-90 Interchange Project, a $1 billion renovation of the Turnpike and commuter rail, coming in 2020. Uh, this says 2040. Uh, many Bay State residents know Beacon Yards for its curving off-ramps, its wondrous log jam of Red Sox traffic. Or maybe you commute through here twice a day, every day for the rest of your life? Maybe you do, but with Alston's I-19 Interchange Project, it's gonna be so much more! Hmm. It's trains that just won't stop! Uh, when is that West Station coming? It's buses to nowhere! Wait, they're not going to come out? It's bike paths to highway off-ramps! That's a lot of lanes to cross. Didn't your mother ever tell you to look both ways? It's the Charles River Parkland shadowed by the highway! Um... And it's all the traffic, traffic, traffic you can stand! For only 500 million down, you can get this land ripe and ready. Or actually you can't. Harvard already bought it. But how are we gonna rebuild a live highway over active train tracks next to people's houses at the only entry point to Alston, Cambridge, Brookline, Longwood Medical Area, Fenway. The Massachusetts Department of Transportation has earned a solid reputation for laying highways in neighborhoods with more than 60 years experience pushing cars through Alston. <laughs> you know they'll do it right. Side effects include bloated budget, lengthened construction, and minor graft that may result in federal indictments. Just look at the bustling communities thriving in the seaport neighborhood. <laughs> Or we can rethink our $1 billion investment, put people ahead of highways, use this opportunity to open up the Charles River parklands, connect the two halves of Alston, bring the regional transit to Harvard, Boston University, Longwood, and Kendall Square, and build the new neighborhood that we deserve that will last generations. And how do you propose we do that? Well, act now. Call or tweet your governor, Charlie Baker, at MassGovernor, and visit peoplespike.org for more information. Or you can sit back, relax, and enjoy progress. <laughs>